The Dodgers are heading into the 2024 season with their highest payroll ever. This comes after they made some big signings and committed to paying a whopping $1.4 billion in future salaries. But could this significant amount of money in the player rotation affect the Dodgers' financial situation? I'll tell you all the details and who the injured player is, but first, like, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're a true Dodgers fan. On opening day, the Dodgers payroll hit $277.5 million in actual money paid for 2024, surpassing their previous record of $269.8 million back in 2014. For competitive balance tax purposes, they're estimated at $320.9 million, the highest in MLB history. It's interesting to note that the Dodgers have four players with contracts spanning at least 10 years, which is quite rare in MLB history. But their payroll figures might differ slightly from other sources due to various reasons like deferred money and bonuses. As a result of being frequent taxpayers, the Dodgers face higher tax rates at different thresholds. They're currently in the highest tax tier which means they'll pay a hefty 110% on any amount over $297 million. Despite having a high payroll, the Dodgers' dead money, which is money paid to players no longer with the team, is relatively low this year at $6 million. This includes payments to players like Justin Turner, whose deferred signing bonus doesn't count against the competitive balance tax this year. In addition to player salaries, the Dodgers also contribute to a pre-arbitration bonus pool and cover minor league salaries and player benefits. Overall, their payroll management reflects their commitment to building a competitive team, even if it means shelling out a lot of money. What did you think about this? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Also like, subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all the latest news about the Dodgers.